Hello, this is Olga Yaftic. I'm a fashion designer and Miss Virginia Senior America 2003. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is Fashion Notes. I do not believe we are already talking about fall. Summer went so fast with the heat and humidity and thunderstorm. I hardly had a beautiful day to many barbecue. Now is the time to talk fashion trends. I like living in, this four living in the four season climate. You get tired of summer clothes and look forward to winter season and vice versa. Runways are full of news for fall and winter. I do not know where to start and I'm so excited to the new season. I think the newest thing is a vintage inspired clothing. It is, it is a vintage season for little 50s, little 40s, cross between young, frumpy, rich, urban, cosmopolitan, and even eccentric. Also, the glamour years of all Hollywood gets a fashion close up, including satin gown and lots of furs, my personal favorite. Mink, sable, fox, chinchilla, leopard, printed rabbit, everything from capes to coats, jackets, shawls, hem and cuff borders, colors too. First, first are going up the charts. Feather and fur turn out to be new pashmina, like capelet, versatile, elegant, and so practical on chilly nights. Back in the days of aristocracy, jewelry was the biggest measure of wealth and status. So designers are using lots of jewels, not only on collars and cuffs, but on front closure, belts, handbags, sweatshirts, jeweled knit sweaters. So how can one incorporate furs, jewels, bows, vintage and glamour into one outfit. The answer? Mix it up. New electricism. The new sportwear item that remain on the scene is the down jacket. Even as the evening jacket adorned with crystal and jeweled belts. Colors. Grays, browns, red is the new black. In shade of lipstick, Chinese liqueur, red of ruby. Fabrics, tweed, cashmere, corduroy, satin, jersey, and lace are all the fabrics of the season, day and night. Often black with jewels and metallic yarn. Leopard making in major print motif, followed by zebra. Valentino has bought. It is definitely the season of pleating, draping, pin tucking. Fur is accessory of the season, and fur shrugs are the best bet on the selling, and they're selling very, very well. The shoes around toe, pumps in crushed suede, metallic, adorned with jewels. The brooch is very in, not only on jackets, but also on hats and uh, other accessory. Uh, then you have a, a beaded, uh, a beaded belts for instant glamour, updating dress, jackets, coat, even fur. Makeup is earthy and neutral and will suit all skin tone. Eyes are the focus of the face. Shadows are sparkly bronze, chocolate steel blue, and caramel, replacing traditional black. Lips for pale to reds and burgundies, rosy cheeks are back. Gloves. There is a need to gloves to accommodate elbow sleeves and bracelets sleeves on the new coats and jackets. Of all of the gloves on the runways, the most extravagant are Prada, cream size crocodile in many in color. More trends, 
cigarette pants and leggings, waist, cinching belt, mink and crocodile glamorous jewelry, and they said fur, 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 fur. It is a new Polish way to dress and not seen for many seasons. So you see, choices are absolutely endless, and I think you can find one thing that is in, uh, to in to update your fall wardrobe and be hip and modern this fall. Happy hunting for fall clothes. Now, I have special privilege to introduce you lovely local lady, who she's very talented and makes beautiful handbags. Her name is Roberta Roberts. This is Miss Roberts. And I think she was looking for husband with the last name Roberts that she can, you know, be R.R. Roberta Roberts. <laughs> now I sound like a fashion designer. I have the name. <laughs> yes, R.R. Miss Roberts. Well, she is very talented lady beside being a my wife and mother and chauffeur and everything else. And she still has time to make these beautiful bags. As you can see, this one on the table is like a matching or beautiful set that we have today. And so she can tell us all about this beautiful bag. And also I would like to know how did you start doing this and how do you find time to, you know, in your busy schedule to make these beautiful bags? Well, um, I started my career in banking and finance. And oh, um, I really actually left the career to spend more time with my children. And there was a transitional period where I still had a nanny, yet um, I wasn't working. And so I started just working on hobbies and crafts, and it was the holiday season. So I started making bags just to wear to parties. And I remember my first bag that I made. I went to a holiday party, and when I came, did you to make it? Made it for you? For me. Uh -huh. That's how I started. Of course. And there was a group of ten women around it, and they were saying, "Whose bag is this?" And then all of a sudden, they're they're like, "You made it." And I said, "Yes." You know, I needed something special to ah, wear with this I outfit. See. And um, so then I started making them for friends, and then it just started to grow from there, and, and really just word of mouth. Um, so do you do you show in your home? Like, do you have a shows? You I know, you know, a certain season to, to introduce a new collection. I have a website, um, uh -huh. littlebirdiebags.com, and I also deal with um, small boutiques all over the country in, mm -hmm. in different areas, mostly small stores, because I think that my product is very specialized, and the women that want it usually like to shop Of course, shop to be one of a kind. Boutiques. Exactly. Oh, they're absolutely beautiful. You Can Thank you, you see this one? And that, um, and now they're absolutely, you have to have one item in leopard or something, you know, and this is like a leopard uh, stamp purse that she had a beautiful bow. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful and chic. And when you open up, you can really stuff lots of things in. And also, I found out that this is uh, also the chain uh -huh, that, that, you can can be that you can wear it with the chain, too, on, around your um, shoulder. This is absolutely beautiful example of her work. And you have one right here, which is really very pretty. As you can see, black and white with the pink rose and green flowers. Very, very exquisite evening little bag. We are going to have more bags now to show you. Our mothers are going to show us some more bags on this beautiful collection that she brought today. I'm very thankful that she found time to come you know, in her busy schedule to show us her work. Uh, as you can see, may, may we have a first model, please? Oh, this is a very beautiful beautiful bag. Uh, can you tell us about, about this bag? This bag is called, most of the bags have names, and this particular bag is called Happy Hour. And this one, I work with an artist, um, and this was custom painted um, for my bags. And uh -huh. what we do is have the um, original artwork oh. reproduced on fabric, and then we glaze it afterwards uh -huh. and um, jewel it so that the little Savorsky crystals that I use on the top um, resemble the salt on a margarita glass. So you have something for dinner and something for yes. lunch, or this is this is for for a cocktail hour. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> this is interesting. So we have another model, and she's coming with something very interesting with the yellow rose, as you can see, black and yellow, which is a very uh, you know beautiful combination this of colors and white, black, and yellow. And you can open up, and you can put your you know credit cards and. Uh, 
lipstick and uh, you know a little powder and this is enough what the lady needs to go out for the evening it's absolutely beautiful I absolutely love it this is wonderful and so you're working like do you have a special time when you work or when the kids are in bed or when I work all year making the bags while the children are at school and as soon as they come home um, I, I stop working. Of course you're busy with something else absolutely this is a black and white combination I love black and white, and everybody knows that this is my favorite combi color combination, black and white. And this is a wonderful example of what I would really pref have, would love to have myself. Black and white, it's absolutely lovely. Now we have another model is going to show us some uh, brown. So uh, modern bag. Modern, very uh, like a, a geometric print. And also, you can wear it uh, on your uh, shoulder, like a shoulder bag. Show them that you can wear it as a shoulder bag. And has a very pretty clasp, brown clasp. It's tiger's eye. Oh, tiger's yeah. Eye. yeah. Is this like a one of a kind, or you, this you do one, it more? This um, one, this was a custom bag designed for a customer. That, that um, she wanted its colors. And I brought it today because I thought it's so pretty. A lot of times, the bag designs come out of custom designs where That's somebody right. will have a specific need, and then I'll like the way it comes out so much. So you can wear it as a clutch like yes. that. Yes, and that and one has a, put, put a, a handle put, as well. You know, you know, the hand over your shoulder if you have. It's very pretty. I like the, uh, the show, the clasp is very pretty. What color, what people are really looking, what colors they're looking for? The trends, as you mentioned this year, animal prints, animal prints are, are big, huge. Yes. And then uh -huh. also, um, from what I'm hearing, greens and purples are very yes, big. Yes, very pretty. Um, and also vintage. And these two bags that are um, being modeled right now are vintage inspired bags with a modern twist to them. Oh, um, yes, they're The very one pretty. over here is um, a vintage carved glass piece in the center, and that's from the 1940s, and it's um, cast in a, a brooch. And then I pair it with a turquoise handle that kind of modernizes uh, the look. Is, is the handle like you know neck that used to be necklaces that you No, to this um, this handle is um, one that can be converted into a necklace if a customer wanted they could add oh, an extension that's smart. and um, it could be customized so you could wear it as a piece of jewelry or as well. Or maybe you can make a necklace can you do the necklaces you know to complement this? Absolutely I do this year I've started to do some oh, um, coordinating some jewelry pieces. Too. Yes. Oh such a clever idea that's a re really be wonderful. Um, so, so you're do working on jewelry too? Um, the jewelry, I have uh, an assistant that helps me with the jewelry and um, that, that is all what that she does. What kind of beads do you use? We use everything, um, mostly semi-precious, um, oh, also, semi also oh. crystals and um, silver and anything to just complement the bags is what we would incorporate. So we would take the fabric and then we would find a natural stone that uh -huh. would um, oh, here bags. they are again. Look at this beautiful. This is the capital. This one is the capital. Capital and the monument. Oh, and this, this one is. is these are Washington. party um, bags. Obviously, um, with the uh, election this year, these ones would be Red, very white, current and perfect um, for attending parties. Oh, and this, is this one um, with the capital, if you could turn it around, capital the um, crystals on it are designed to give it the look that the lights are on at night because all the Washington buildings look so pretty at, at night. Wow, this is such a beautiful gift for somebody who was visiting Washington to have it just as such a beautiful exactly. souvenirs, you know, from Washington. And this is really unique. You know, you have such a wonderful idea. I absolutely love it. And they're all totally different. They absolutely have no, uh, you know, nothing that is, that, that is the same. These they ones are, are um, different. Again, incorporating the colors this year, a lot of greens and purples. The um, floral one is different orchids. Orchids are my favorite flowers to work with. Oh, they're beautiful. And they have uh -huh. a lot of texture and interesting colors. And I think that it looks perfect for the fall, but again, it could carry you all season. I think you can wear this you know, year round. Absolutely. With, you know, a, you know, absolutely. Simple dress that it is absolutely dress the whole outfit. And this, and one this bag is again has a vintage piece in the um, on it has the a nice center. Tassel. It's an Asian inspired um, look, and it has uh, carved glass um, there, also from um, the 50s. Is that yeah, piece? Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, ladies. Oh, this is really such a treat to have you here today Thank you. and to show 
our viewers uh, that, you know, there are so many talented people that live in Washington area, but nobody really knows because everybody think, you know, you have to go to Europe or to New York or, you know, to look. There are so many talented people here. And I'm so happy you could come today and show us your beautiful uh, work. Thank and you for I having me. I would love to thank you very much for coming, taking time to come here and uh, to show us this beautiful work. Um, thank you so much. And we are going to be right back. Don't go away. Don't you turn the dial. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Roberta thank Roberts. You. Olga. It's good to see you. Lazy bones, loafing through the day. You always seem to find the easy way. Moving like you rolled in the way. Never heard a word I say. All over America, entire families are backsliding. We're no longer just sedentary, we're stationary. And that's bad news for your bones. At any age, bones need weight-bearing activity to grow strong and stay strong. So go outside, take the steps, play with the dog. Just get up, get out, get moving. Never keep your bones that way. Never heard a word I say. A public service message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Now, we were talking about fashion, about, about furs, but now we have to talk about the recycling. Can you imagine recycling in fashion? Well, where do I come from? We did recycling, not because it was in fashion, because it was a necessity. We did recycle everything. For example, one of the things, I came to this country in the suit that was made from my father's suit, the fabric was turned inside out. So the suit was beautiful. This is a one kind of recycling. And now people are recycling, you know, all kind of things, but you probably never hear about recycling in fashion. So what I did, since I like furs, and uh, I used someone that were, they were worn, they were used, they were forgotten, and I just gave them new lease on life. So what I did, for example, I'm going to show you examples of my work so you can see what you can do. So now when this program is done, you run to your attic or your basement and look for something old and make something new, like I did. For example, let me see, one, um, one model is going to show us now. Um, this is a navy blue fox, which could be worn on the other side. So you can, s you can see one side is navy blue fox, on the other side is red uh, quilted um, velvet. So it's very versatile and it can be really be worn on both sides and this is something that, you know, it's young and it's very modern and extremely, extremely warm. And this is one example of what you can do with something that you have old, that you can redo it, and the furrier can absolutely do wonders. You wouldn't believe it, how you know interesting pieces could be. The second piece is leather and fur. So if you don't have enough fur, and you can combine with the leather and have such a very young and very interesting and modern outfit. So you can wear with jeans, you can even wear with the evening gown. So that's why it's so versatile and you can really wear it in many different ways and also be warm at the same time. So this is what I'm talking about. Now you can see what you can do with the, with the fur that you already have hanging in the closet, probably hanging and uh, collecting uh, dust. So this is a one example. We have more examples. For example, the next model. This is an um, interesting thing because it's uh, made from different pieces of fur. This is a muskrat in like a peach color, and then you have a 
Uh, you have a lynx, and uh, it's a combination, and uh, pieces of leopard. So if you don't have enough of one fur, you can certainly combine and make the garment with a different fur. You can go to the furrier, and he can give you lots of interesting idea. I did this um, for a long time, and I think it, I like to see something with the new life again. This is interesting combination. This is a Persian lamb coat, which was you old. It was old. Now it's very modern and new looking, and it's in combination with the velvet, which is quilted with gold, and it has a capelet on the back which in the same time reinforce the back. And the, the sleeves were uh, old, so I replaced it with the new, new fabric. So it's totally modern and hip look. Don't you like it? So the next lady, and this is most interesting thing, I have to tell you. This has been a lining on the raincoat and the first start getting very old. And so what do I do? I was looking what to do. So I put combination, which is most unusual, fur and lace and satin and added clasp that I found in the free mar flea market. It's a bakelite, it's a beautiful. So what I did, you know, the uh, area around uh, shoulder were worn. So what I did, I covered it with the lace so it will not show, reinforce it first. So it, I think it make a very interesting look and modern look. So this is a just, you know, examples. I'm sure you can think about more things to do. This is combination of mink and fox. So you have two first together for also interesting look. And um, this is a brown mink coat, uh, which is, you know, which has a border of fox. And it's very young, and it's very hip, and it looks absolutely beautiful, and our, of course, our beautiful model, too. This coat is also a combination of leather and, uh, and mink. So if you don't have enough mink, put some leather, and voila, you have such a beautiful coat, and you can really wear it everywhere, including jeans to the evening gowns. We have uh, another example, of, uh, for example, this is a vest that is made from the jacket, uh, and I incorporate lace and uh, mink because the, the sleeves are so worn. So I took the sleeves off and uh, made it in uh, uh, in a vest, but the thing is that this is very interesting because uh, it's a combination with a very fancy trim and uh, lace. Now the fur and lace is most unusual combination, but it could be done if with a little imagination. You can certainly do it, and this you know you can also wear it with the jeans, dress, or coat, and with the you know just different pants or. So, so this is the idea that I would like to give it to you. You know, you just go and look in the flea markets or mm, antique stores and find some old pieces and try to make something new. We have, uh, uh, I think, two more pieces to, to show. And in the meantime, I think you should really look for something, you know, that you might have probably hanging in your grandmother's uh, attic and you don't know what to do with it. And um, if you cannot do it yourself, you can certainly take to the furrier. There are so many furriers in uh, Virginia area. They can make it something like a make it a vest or can make a, a jacket from the long coat. For example, I did the one uh, coat, which was a long coat. Uh, actually, it was a short coat. And I made it to be longer, extending the sleeves with a different fabric and putting, uh, you know, different uh, uh, putting different uh, f fur in it. For example, this is, uh, I just also would like to tell you the furs are in color now, very much uh, they, they are showing different color. This is a violet color, which is a very beautiful and very becoming color, and it's good on just about anybody, especially if you are young and beautiful like this model. Uh, 
Uh, so the, uh, the color first the very end, you don't have to buy the whole coat or a whole jacket. You can buy just a little capelet or you can buy uh, maybe just the cuffs like I do have it in little color. Or, um, or you can put a trim on your uh, jacket or on your, um, on your suit. Just a little touch of fur to update your um, luxe look because everybody's talking about luxe look and this, this season is a full of uh, new and exciting and exciting things. As you can see now, ladies, what I would like you to do go and look for something um, that you probably have and you forgot that you have and you can update it and make it more beautiful and more um, wearable than it is right now making um, a vest or shortening the coat and making like a boxy jacket they're very in boxy jacket in fox or any fur that you can you can have it you know you can update it and make it like a brand brand new so the, the possibilities are absolutely endless, and uh, this is just a sum of my idea. I'm sure you can have your idea there even much better than mine, and be uh, very fashionable and very hip uh, this um, coming season. So as you can see, go and look for the new things, and I hope you learn today something beside uh, looking and there's a beautiful things that uh, me are showing today that um, I designed and uh, hopefully you can find something and make something new from something old and I would like to thank you very much for tuning in today and till next time this is Olga Yeftich reporting for Fashion Note bye bye